Hey guys, I hope you are all doing okay today. Um, we've seen what Governor Jim Justice has said about when we're returning to school. Um, I've had a very, very bittersweet evening this evening because I've been reflecting and thinking about my teaching career and all of the things that I enjoy about school. Um, if you're one of Mr. Meadows' kids, you know my story that from fourth grade, I've always known that I wanted to be a teacher. And that's why I'm very, sometimes um, very strict with my kids because since fourth grade, I've always known that I wanted to be a teacher. That is what I have always wanted to do. I grew up, I went to college, I worked hard in high school because I knew that one day I was going to find that one classroom that I just fell in love with, I wanted to be in, I wanted to enjoy, and I truly feel like my heart landed me at BIS and the last three years, the last three classes of kids that I've had from Bluefield have made my life meaningful in every possible way that one's life could be. And I'm so sad you guys are home and that I'm separated from you and that we're not getting to spend these weeks together because there are so many things I love teaching. There are so many things I love sharing with you guys. And, you know, when you're at home, even if it's looking up at I Love Lucy episode or it's watching Mr. Rogers or if you even go and look up Judy Garland, the Judy Garland show, whatever you do to keep yourself learning and growing and feeling like you are learning about different cultures and... American history, West Virginia history, whatever you can do now is the time to just explore. Explore all the possible things that make learning fun and all of the things that you want to know about the world. Now is your time to do that. And you guys know that I am just a dojo or live grades message away from asking questions. And if it's something that I don't know, I'm going to find out. I will text whoever I may know. I will Google. I will make phone calls. Whatever I have to do, I will find out these things. So I pray that you're taking this time when you're at home. Don't just be watching. You Don't just be playing video games. Don't just be sitting there not doing something that you're not learning. Always be learning, okay? Um, the book that I want to read you guys today is a book that is very special to me, and all of my kids are going to probably roll their eyes and be like, okay. But the book is Dolly Parton's Coat of Many Colors, okay? So, this book is very special to me, and it's also based off of her song, Coat of Many Colors. So, I'm going to read it, and I challenge you to then look up the song and listen to the song because it's a very very precious story and i think it means a lot and you know a lot of times we think you know what can we teach our kids like we have to teach them fractions we have to teach them you know how to read informational texts how to read articles but the core of my teaching has always been we have to teach the heart of a child because kids have to have the heart taught to them and kindness and things that Dolly Parton teaches us. So this is Dolly Parton's Coat of Many Colors and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you've never heard the song, now's the perfect time for you to look it up and listen to it because it is truly grateful. And I'm going to read this book from start to finish. Um, always when you're reading a book, read the inner tab if it hasn't. So here it says, country music legend Dolly Parton's upbringing in rural Tennessee provides the backdrop for this charming tale of love in a time of need. With winter on the way and no money for new clothes, Mama stitches a coat for her little girl from a donated box of rags. And though her classmates tease the girl for wearing a homemade coat, she knows that Mama's love is enough to keep her warm. The tender lyrics to Parton's best-selling song spring to life in this beautifully illustrated picture book. My mother bought me this book, so it's, it's very special. So the, the message from Dolly we have here 
It says, I dedicate this book to the memory of my loving mother and to your mother, wherever she may be. I know mine is in heaven, and I know she looks down lovingly and fondly on me for telling this true story that has brought so much light and healing to so many. I love you, Mama. Dolly Parton. Back through the years, I go wandering once again. Back to the seasons of my youth, I recall a box of rags that someone gave us and how my mama put those rags to use. They were, there were rags of many colors, but every piece was small, and I didn't have a coat, and it was way down in the fall. Mama sewed the rags together, so in every piece with love, she made my coat of many colors that I was so proud of. As she sewed, she told a story from the Bible she had read about a coat of many colors Joseph wore, and then she said, I hope this coat will bring you good luck and happiness, and I just couldn't wait to wear it, and Mama blessed it with a kiss. My coat of many colors that my mama made for me, made only from rags, but I wore it so proudly. Although we had no money, I was rich as I could be, and my coat of many colors my mama made for me. So with patches on my britches and holes in both my shoes and my coat of many colors, I hurried off to school. Just to find the others laughing and making fun of me and my coat of many colors my mama made for me. And no, I couldn't understand it, for I felt I was rich. And I told them of the love my mama sewed in every stitch. And I told them all the story mama told me while she sewed, and how my coat of many colors was worth more than all their clothes. But they didn't understand it, and I tried to make them see that one is only poor, only if they choose to be. Now I know we had no money, but I was rich as I could be, and my coat of many colors my mother made for me, made just for me. just for me. And the last little page here is written from Dolly. It says, people ask me all the time, out of all the songs I've ever written, what is my very favorite? It's an easy answer for me because without a doubt, Coat of Many Colors is the most special to me. This song and now this book capture so many strong feelings and emotions. It warms my heart to know that for many people, these words have become a lesson to try to stop bullying in school. On that fateful day, I felt the terrible hurt when people made fun of me. It is a pain that takes a long, long time to go away. In fact, it never really went away until I sat down and wrote this song. Writing the song finally allowed my broken heart to heal. This is absolutely nothing, or, oh, sorry, there is absolutely nothing wrong with being different. I think those who choose to bully just don't know how to handle somebody different from themselves. I hope this book can plant the seeds of tolerance, understanding, and acceptance in their hearts. And for those of you who may already have been victims of bullying, please know the hurt can heal. 
If this book can help but one child find comfort, then I guess all my dreams for this book have come true. Love always, Dolly. P.S. I have written a very special song just for you. It's called Making Fun Ain't Funny. You can find that song on YouTube. It's pretty good. Um, and I said I was going to read this book from start to finish. Um, the last tab here it says, Dolly Parton is an internationally renowned superstar who has contributed timeless classics to the world of music entertainment, including Jolene, Coat of Many Colors, and the mega hit, I Will Always Love You. She has received dozens of awards during her career that has spanned five decades. Her success extends well beyond the music industry into the worlds of business, books, and philanthropic endeavors. Her Dollywood company entertains over 5 million guests each year at the Dollywood theme park, Dream War Resort, Splash Country, Dixie Stampede, Pirate's Voyage, and Lumberjack. Adventure. She has authored five, four successful books, including the inspirational Dream War, which is a book I always read at the end of fifth grade. And her Imagination Library has partnered with local organizations around the world to gift over 85 million books to preschool children. That's pretty amazing. Um, and the last part here is, although we had no money, I was rich as I could be. And my coat of many colors my mama made for me. Um, I think out of this book and the song, um, probably the most meaningful line lyric uh, for me is, one is only poor if they choose to be. And I think that that's, that's something very special. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the book. Please look up the song. It's a really great song. You know, this evening on this, it's been a pretty, pretty nice day. Look up some Dolly songs. Listen to some Dolly music. Check out older music. Enjoy it. Think about it. Think about how it feels. And please share that with me. If you hear a song that speaks something to you, comment below. Send me a dojo message. Let me know that you got something from this and that you listened and that in some part of your heart you felt something. Um, I miss you guys. Miss you very much. Miss you a lot. I hope you're all okay. Really, really got to me today. I miss you guys. And um, I hope to see you soon. And I will make another video soon. Bye, guys.